Well, now that we're fully into summer season, it isn't just people that want to enjoy the sun. The snakes, they want to get out too. I've seen a few on hikes lately. And most notably, rattlesnakes. And some of those creatures can be seen along those hiking trails. So it's important to know what to do in a situation if you do hear a rattle close by. So joining us to give us a little more insight is Ashley Houts, Supervising Naturalist for the East Bay Regional Park District. Welcome, Ashley. I want to start with how can we identify rattlesnakes and other type of snakes in the East Bay? That's where I always hike because that's where I live. So I'm always keeping an eye and ear out. Well, good morning, Amanda. Thank you so much for having me. Um, there are a variety of snakes that live in the Bay Area, but luckily the rattlesnake is the only one we humans really need to look out for. They're the only one with venom. So the best way to identify a rattlesnake is by their rattle. If you approach one, if you see one on the trail, they will likely start to rattle at you. They're the only snake in our area that have that rattle tail that will make a sound when you come close. The other thing is because they do have venom, they have venom pits, so their head is triangle shaped rather than um, kind of more <laughs> of just their neck right into their head like the other snakes in our Bay area. So look for that triangle shape and the rattle on the tail. Okay, so Ashley, I wanna know, when I'm hiking, say on Mount Diablo and there is a rattlesnake right there, what do I do? The best thing to do is to step back give it plenty of space. The rattlesnakes are out during the daytime, sometimes sunning themselves on the trail. So when they're trying to absorb all that sun being cold blooded, they're acting like the solar panel. They're hanging out there, they're trying to get all that sun. So step back, let them do their thing. They're an important part of our ecosystem. So step back, maybe head the other way on the trail if they are not moving. Or if you're able to, in a clear space, take a wide path around the snake to continue on your journey. Gotcha. So how rare is it to get a rattlesnake bite? And are we seeing this happen more often now? You know, it is very rare to have a rattlesnake bite. It does happen from time to time. But we're seeing more people in our parks. More people than ever are getting out and exploring the East Bay parks and parks around the Bay Area, which is great. Ever since the pandemic, people are finding more things to do that are outside, that are free. And so we're seeing more people in the parks. Uh, there is not an increased amount of snakes in the parks, however, and it is still very rare to have a rattlesnake bite. The best thing to do is to stay on trail where you would be able to clearly see a snake in the pathway and scan the trail ahead of you as you're hiking along. Gotcha. So if I do get bitten or we're two people together, what do we do if someone gets bit? Call 911 right away. Time is of the utmost importance with snake bites. You want to be able to get to a hospital as soon as possible. And if you're hiking in the Bay Area, we are in civilization, right? You're going to be able to get to a hospital quickly. Uh, so call 911 if you are not in the area where you have cell service. Send somebody to call 911 that might be able to get service. The best thing to do for the person that was bit is to stay as calm as possible. And I know that may sound hard to do. I don't think I'd be able to stay calm, Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> but if you lower your heart rate, it's going to help you a lot in the future with the um, anti-venom that you'll receive too. Is someone so telling me to stay calm, calm during that? <laughs> <laughs> oh well, man. Yeah. <laughs> the other best thing to do is to know that the whole myth of like sucking the venom out, you don't need to do any of that. Just get to emergency services, get to a hospital as soon as you can. And if you're in the vehicle on the way to a hospital, give them a call ahead of time so that they have time to mix up the anti-venom before you arrive. Gotcha. A lot of good tips there, Ashley. Thanks so much. I know a lot of people are planning to head out, especially this weekend, too. So we appreciate all that information. No problem. Thank you so much for having me and enjoy your East Bay Regional Parks.